Hello and welcome back to another episode of Quick Plays. So this time we're playing Cross of the Dutchman, made by Triangle Studios. Remember they made, um... Have the controller. If they made... Uh, it came from Space and Atar Brains, we covered that a while back. So we're going to do this video for absolutely ages, but, uh... A couple of things got in the way. But, who did? Uploaded the day before Halloween. So, it's basically a hack and slash brawler, I guess. With. Oh, I love those animations. If you ever played Maximo, you would, uh, you would recognize the, the way the. Uh, Reminds me a lot like that. You know, when he kicks open the chests. That's good. So, yeah, you get a you get a basic attack, and then you get a strong attack, like that. It's, it feels a little bit clunky because, like, you, if you see, like, I press A and then I'm trying to move around, and you can't you kind of get stuck in a pose. I mean, it kind of adds risk to missing, but it's, it feels a little bit restrictive. At the same time, if you get what I mean, it's it. Everything does feel really fleshed out, though. I mean, if you punch something, if it, the the uh, texture, I guess. Well, yeah, that's you know the, the way that it satisfying. So I'm, I'm talking about okay. So it's kind of like a it's a it's story based. about uh where's you know what I'm talking to? Oh okay over there. On the mini map I see. So it's story based and there's not for, for a game that's kind of open world. Maybe you could do a little bit of side quests. I mean it's based on a true story. It's based on Pierre uh God, I can't remember his last name. It was a rebel. Against the, 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 the game tells the whole story, actually. I mean, it's good at that. Got my coffee. With a. Uh, with vanilla, uh, vanilla syrup in it. I don't know how to get here. Actually, um, stumped. There's a mini map, but I, I don't have any idea how to, uh. How to maneuver around this place. I've already been here. Okay, let's go back then. Let's go back all the way to the start of the town. So yeah, you beat up soldiers, basically. Uh, with your with your fists at the moment. I'm not, I'm pretty sure you get a sword. Haven't got one yet. I think this is the quest to get the sword. This is the part. Chapter 5. Uh, I've been playing it for about... 50 minutes now? 50... 50... Just under an hour. Or actually maybe just reaching an hour. And uh, I think I'm going the right way. Hell yeah! Ah, oh, thank God. Oh, oh no. okay. And uh, it's actually pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm not bored yet, so that's that's good. And obviously this is, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's actually quite fun. Unfortunately, there's not much use of the vertical space. But I do like this. I like actually look. Like, People would like scared if you if you punch the air, and that is something you really don't see in games anymore. Like in Assassin's Creed, you could just like stab someone in the throat, and there'd be a guy standing right next to him. He just look at you with like some gormless faces, just like I've killed someone. Look, what are you doing? Oh, here is some. Um, here's a training camp for these soldiers. I don't think I can get in here yet. I think I can kick. Them. Um, so you have a little, you have a stamina bar and a health bar. Your health regenerates uh, over time after not taking damage. That kind of strat. There you go, Maximo. Kicking chest open. I want to play that game again. This makes me want to play Maximo again. That was such a good game. You remember that on the, on the PS2? There's two of them. That's what this reminds me of. 
which is a good sign because those are great games. You get kind of a bit stuck on the terrain and everything's not very smooth. Like, this could be a little bit of work. But yeah, as I was saying, vertical space is not really used that much. Like, there's, there's no jumping. There's no, like, it's just, you know. It's nice to have some vertical. So, I mean, you can't go on top of things, but that's, it's only because the map allows you to rather than you actually, like, jumping and stuff. So. There you go. I'm collecting coins. Oh, this is the guy I'm talking to. So it's, it's story based. There's one problem with this is that, like, there's no voice acting in the game, which is fine, which is fine, but there seems to be no, like, just interaction between them. Like, you go onto them and then it just makes a text box come up. I mean, if I were you, the developers, this is, I st hopefully, you guys watch it. Hi. Um, just add in, like, kind of, do what Monster Hunter does. This is a. I, I would put voice acting on these parts at least. I do like these parts though. I accidentally skipped the majority of them with, just without realizing because I, I was willing to like skip the text. Yeah, because I'd read it fast enough. But anyway, as I was saying, here we go. Right, demonstration combat. Meet the vigilantes. North side of the encampment. So, I mean, like, you know, it just, like, kind of just moves into a text box, but, I mean, in a, in Monster Hunter, it, you, they, like, you talk to someone, and they'll just grunt. But, I mean, it, it sounds stupid, I know. But it actually adds in, like, an effective amount. Oh. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> I was just following him, but... On the north side of the camp, right, yeah, that makes sense. Like, just a little grunt, but it kind of, it... You I mean it sounds stupid, but it, it actually does kind of just fleshes out the interaction, I guess, between the. Just sneak past you. The interaction between like the player and the actual NPCs. Otherwise, it's just a bit. I don't know, just a bit. I just I don't know. It's just not there. You know, it's kind of a bit non-existent. The graphics is good though. It plays uh, just you know, no complaints at all. I'm guessing 50... Fuck. Press any key to continue. What's the any key? Right, okay, let's do this again then. Oh, okay. Right. Oh no, okay, I can go this way. I think I have to go this way. I don't know if this makes me hide. Guards are patrolling the air. Better be quiet. Okay, cool. So it does have stealth parts in it. What was I saying? Fuck, I forgot what I was saying. She. Alright, uh, yes, I was talking about the world. That's what I was talking about. The world looks nice. It does. I, I, I like the graphics. It's kind of a. It kind of remind me of Maximo. If <laughs> this is Maximo for a lot of stuff here. I don't really know why they can't see. Well, I assume it's a lot darker than my screen is making it out to be. Fuck! Bastard! Sip my coffee. Right. Yeah, that's it. That about the game. It was quite fun though. I'm enjoying it. And now for the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to play it. That's it. Let's see past this guy, yep. Around this guy. Actually, that's one thing, actually, I would talk about. The world is kind of, is definitely linked up, and it actually makes for kind of a... You have to backtrack a lot, but not in the bad way. If you get, like, you can backtrack, and it adds just, you know, um, just tacky hours into the game, just because you... But I, the backtracking actually feels like it's worth it. You, know, you have to go back to the house, and you have to 
go back and talk to this guy and go back and talk to this guy, but it actually seems like kind of real, I guess? Rather than uh, artificial adding in there just for artificial game time, it actually seems like like you can go to this place and there's another encampment somewhere else and I assume it, we will attack. Oh, this is them. I think I've achieved it. Cool. There we go. Vigilante. Attack the transport. There we go. Wars. Jesus. Ah. Man, where's my teammate? These vigilantes suck. There you go, vigilantes go. Right, there we go. Kill those guys. Is everyone else dead? Vigil, are you just you just following me? Okay. There's no difficulty settings, actually. This is as hard as it is. I prefer this, I think there aren't any really difficulties. Ouch. Good job there, guys. Punch me in the face. Good job there. Wired. If it's a good, um, like a good transition, at any point in the combo, you can go into a, a strong attack, which definitely does flesh out the combat system a little bit more. Makes it a lot more uh, responsive. Oh, me. And you feel really powerful, which is a good sign. And surprisingly, the NPCs aren't completely useless. Obviously not as good as me. But you know, not completely useless. Bring the supplies back. Oh, okay, we've got to walk now. Everyone's dead except me and uh, me and Wired here. Good old Wired. Let me make up again. But yeah, I do like this game. So thumbs up. A couple of things I would say. Just make the uh, you know the NPCs a little bit more interactive, I guess. And I guess you can't really at this point, but for your next game, make use of the um, you know 3D space, vertical space. That's about it. That's about it. Okay. All right. All right. Bye.